And good afternoon, everyone. My name is Zhicheng Lai, and I'm a PhD candidate from Obo University. And today I'm here to present on work, E2USD, Efficient Yet Effective Unsupervised State Detection for Multivariate Time Series. And this work is a joint effort with a colleague from Obo University, Zhejiang University, and Suzhou University. First of all, I will give you an overview of my presentation. I will begin with the introduction to a problem and the, and the challenge we are facing. Following that, I will present our key innovation and the experimental results. Finally, we will conclude with a summary of our findings and the future work. In cyber-physical system, sensors monitor physical process and generate multivariate multi time series. And this data is often complex and leading, uh, needing human effort to distinguish the underlying states. For example, consider MTS con corresponding to a dance routine, which is collected using an accelerometer on a person's arms and legs. And the aim of uh, state detection is to segment the MTS and assign each segment with a state, such as walking, running, jumping, or hopping. And specifically, uh, states in MTS represent the condition in MTS segment and identifiable by the unique patterns or behaviors. And the unsupervised state detection and assign state index to each timestamp without predefined states or labels. In general, deep learning-based unsupervised state detection uses a sliding window approach. This means that USD model process segment of, a, of the time series uh, once a window as it move on move along the time dimension. As shown in the, in the example, we obtain the current input from a sliding window, which is then sent to an encoder, deep learning based encoder, um, to create its uh, embedding. Uh, and finally, the embedding is sent to a class G model, which determines the state index. To better understand the task of our study, let's compare supervised and unsupervised state detection. Supervised methods require prior knowledge of the state and they need the uh, labeled data set, while the unsupervised method, USD, they do not. And the USD directly identify the state by the embedding clustering and making it suitable for applications such as cyber attack detection where the state are unknown. However, despite the advancement in deep learning based USD, um, several challenges remain. Resource intensive architecture of the deep learning based uh, MTS encoder poses significant computational and uh, storage demands, and at least limit, limit the deployment of such model on devices with limited resource, and which is common in practical applications. Another change is the false negative sampling in contrastive learning. The contrastive learning uh, is widely used in the rep representation learning and is applied to the SODA USD model. However, this method over overlooks the issue of false negatives. For, for example, when we randomly sample two window and regard them as a negative pair, it's generally okay since the randomly sample window are likely to have different states. However, if the total number of states is limited, there is a very high probability that the randomly sent windows belong to the same state, and the least will lead to the false negative problem. Additionally, exist models often fail to efficiently handle the streaming scenario, and the unconditional invocation for the old window data uh, can cause redundant clustering computation and make this method uh, suboptimal for real-time applications. Our own work introduced uh, several innovations to address these challenges. And we propose a compact MTS embedding method, uh, which, can, which take all the resource-intensive architecture of deep learning-based uh, encoder. And we also propose a first negative cancellation method to mitigate the first negative problem in contrastive learning. And finally, we propose a mechanism, a streaming, streaming USD with, a, with the adaptive threshold and which improve the performance in streaming scenario. 
First, we uh, we address the resource intensive architecture problem uh, with our compact MTS embedding. And this embedding method logic reduces the model size and the computational demands. And existing, existing deep learning based methods often use complex networks and over, overlook the valuable domain specific knowledge. We propose to create a concise but informative uh, Im embeddings by two components, FFT compress and DDEM. In, DD in FFT compress, we use a real valued FFT to transform the MTS window into its frequency domain. And then we use an uh, energy-based frequency compressor to, se to select and uh, retain only the most active uh, frequency components and then uh, compress the input. Finally, uh, inverse, inverse real-valued FFT is used to convert the compressed frequency domain data back to the time domain. And the DDEM component for the compress and uh, process the compressed MTS by de uh, decomposing it into chain and seasonal components. And these components are then embedded with lightweight module and combined into a comprehensive MTS embedding. By using FFT compress and DDEM, we create an efficient and effective encoder uh, in addressing the challenge of resource intensive deep learning architecture. Our second key innovation focus on the uh, focus on mitigating the false negative in constructive constructive learning. Constructive in USD makes my the similarity between the positive pair while minimizing is uh the negative uh, the distance between negative pairs. However, the first negative sampling problem uh in, occur in this process. And the current method rendering current current method rendering sample windows group, assuming each group represent uh, different uh, states, and this can lead to a situation where the different group have the same states. So to address this, we introduce a first negative cancellation method, which uses a similarity based uh, negative sampling scheme, and this scheme evaluate the seasonal and the change similarities. Uh, between the current current uh between two uh, window group and fill out the two negative pair, and specifically we list all the all the possible negative pair and we compute the trend and the seasonal uh, similarity between uh, their embedding and finally we fill out the true false negative from the least similar pairs. And finally, we propose a uh, adaptive threshold detection for uh, for the uh, streaming scenario, and at least involve the computing uh, uh, computing embedding of the current sample, and then measure the similarity between the current and the previous embeddings, and then we check the similarity uh, between the current and the previous embedding with the threshold, and. And finally, and finally, if the similarity if the similarity uh is is high, we do not do we do not conduct class clustering. But if the similarity is uh low, so uh, we will do the clustering and then adjust the threshold. And this dynamic approach ensures the efficient clustering operation in streaming USD. Uh, following the previous study, we used five five uh, real world data sets and one synthetic data set for the evaluation. We use the metrics such as ARI NMI for the accuracy evaluation and the processing time for efficiency evaluation. Besides, our uh, experiments were conducted on a server and we validate the vulnerability of our model on an MCU device. And from the table, we can see that the E2USD on purpose method outperforms our baseline in most cases uh, regarding the ARI and NMI, and, and our uh, processing time is much lower than our baselines. And we also compare the current SODA model, uh, time, to state, time to State, which was um, published in Sigma 2023. And both methods use the deep learning based encoder and show the same clustering algorithm. So we can direct our focus on the 
com uh, comparison of their encoder. And as shown in the table, it will still outperform time to state significantly uh, in terms of computational and storage eff efficiency. In our efficiency comparison, it will still and its uh, encoder present the least processing time among all the baseline. And in a component study, we replaced the encoder and the contrastive learning method of ETUSD and generated some variant. Besides, we also use some widely used encoder and contrastive learning method as the baselines to evaluate uh, the, the performance of the component uh, of the component of ETUSD. And we noticed that the ETUSD, uh, uh, there its encoder and its contrastive learn contrastive learning method outperform their um, counterpart in effectiveness. And also we compare the adaptive charge detection with two methods, SED, always clustering detection, which conduct clustering for every sample, and STD, static threshold detection, which use a static threshold to check if the clustering should be conducted. And the experimental results show that ADATD achieve a balance between accuracy and computational overheads and making it a best choice for the streaming state detection. In conclusion, um, we present it USD, a efficient yet effective method for unsupervised MTS state detection. Our adaptive potential detection method also enable a balance between accuracy and computational overhead and make it very uh, suitable for streaming scenario. And in the future, we uh, we aim to investigate the first positive problem in MTS uh, USD, and we want to deploy it USD on real world application. Well, this is the end of my presentation. Thank you for your attention.